All right, we're all used to going to the pools, not the polls, in June. And for as long as we can remember, September has always been our primary time. But due to federal law, Maryland had to move up its primary day. Both Republican and Democrat candidates spent the day giving it that last final push. ABC 2 News' Catherine Howley is here now with just the eight hours until the polls open. That's right. Campaigns were in the final stretch today, and I caught up with some of the gubernatorial candidates to hear their final messages. <laughs> One last stop and one last wave. It's the final lap before Tuesday's primary election. Say thank you, thank you, and thank you very much. Candidates hoping to snag the governor's seat spent hours on the campaign trail today, trying to pull in more votes. On the Republican side, Harford County Executive David Craig had a busy day getting in front of folks heading to the polls. He wants voters to know he's focusing on your wallet. The key issue right now are taxes and uh, lowering jobs and hurting our businesses. So we have the rec reputation of having actually balanced budgets as county executive. And so it's not just about having a rhetoric about what you want to talk about. It's also about having a record. He's going up against frontrunner Larry Hogan, delegate Ron George, and Charles Lawler. They're a heartbeat away from the state house, and on the Democrat side, delegate Heather Mazier ended the day with a campaign rally. Get out the vote. She says that ticket is feeling a surge of momentum in the race. Her pitch targets middle class families. Turn that minimum wage into a living wage. Bring middle class and small business tax cuts to the table. Eliminate the achievement gap with the universal pre K and end our failed war on drugs. Attorney General Doug Gansler crisscrossed to events, spreading his message and pushing people to vote Tuesday. As for Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown, he stopped by the Baltimore City campaign office to thank volunteers, supporters, and staff and remind folks why he's running. We want to make sure that every Marylander has access to great schools. We want to make sure that every Marylander who wants to work hard and play by the rules can get a good family supporting job. We want every Marylander, regardless of where you live, to raise your family in a clean environment, a safe neighborhood. Now, the Maryland State Board of Elections says a record number of voters hit the polls this year during the eight days of early voting. But that number is only about 4% of eligible voters in the state. Now, Catherine, the primaries are tough. Some analysts are already predicting a poor turnout of the polls tomorrow. Are you hearing people talking about that at all today? You know, everyone we spoke with today actually told us they plan to vote tomorrow, but not everyone had a very clear picture of whose name they plan to select. And many folks say it comes down to the issues and knowing the candidates. You don't hear too much about anyone's standpoints, viewpoints, opinions on anything. So, I mean, it, that, that, that's why I'm undecided. And from what I hear, a lot of people that I talk to are undecided for the same reason. They just don't have any information on any of the candidates that's right now. So. One that really got me was um, legalizing marijuana. I, I just think that's wrong. I mean, for years, you've been telling the kids to say no to drugs, and then you get older, and then you have these politicians running and trying to legalize it. Now, the polls open tomorrow at 7 a.m., and they will remain open until 8 o'clock at night. The winners will move on to the general election in November. Catherine Hawley, ABC 2 News.